Good morning. Sir, my name is Sohan from SGM Technology. Sir, I would like to know the scope of MIT from electrical point of view. Sorry, I did not get the question. Sir, I would like to know the scope of MIT system from electrical point of view. Oh, from the electrical point of view. Okay, Very good question indeed. So I am glad that you asked this. So when we talk about microcontrollers, you know, we all will think that the microcontroller goes in a very sophisticated application like an iPad and a phone and you know, the, some kind of very high end laptop or communication gadget or something like that. Not really so. Actually, the real world is you know, like where we are living. There are you know, thousands and thousands of electrical gadgets that are working around us. If you are going up a building, you have an elevator, right? If you are living in a home, you have a compressor working in an in in air conditioner or refrigerator and things like that. These are you know, electrical gadgets. Mind you, you know, a microcontroller domain is not just for you know the high end equipments which we talk about, but then it is to enable all these you know, devices like what I talked about a motor in an elevator or a you know, motor that is a compressor that is working in a refrigerator or an air conditioner work efficiently, draw less power, and you know, um, you know, more the, make the more world you know, more greener and greener. So, your question is very valid. And you know, embedded electronics has a very, very important role to play in all the electrical gadgets. So, electrical engineers should learn embedded electronics as much as an electronics engineer or an instrument engineer or any other embedded engineer for that matter. So, thanks for asking this question. Okay.